Hey guys, just before we get to the show, I just want to apologize for the audio quality that we're having this week. Uh, turns out the uh, mic was just slightly not connected properly and it caused that uh, horrible sound you're hearing. I could go back and record the show again, but enjoy the show. What's up, Prop Nation? It's your journey today. We're back with another edition of the footy. It's round 23. We've got two rounds of the regular season to go. That's very exciting. Then finals is coming up. It's going to be absolutely epic. You might have seen us over the last weekend. NFL season's back. Sully and I did preseason week one. We had a lot of success. It was really, really fun. It's really good to get back into the NFL, which we will do again with preseason week two coming this weekend as well. I'm glad that you're watching. And I found out, did you know that 60% of you who are watching this video right now are not subscribed? Really fun, free, easy way to help us grow the show. Just like, leave a comment as well. We've had some really good chatter over the last weekend with some NFL props that we had, which is exciting. Uh, leave an, a review on Apple and Spotify if you're listening as well. And follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter as well. But for now, we will get into the footy for round 23. We've got five very, very good games. It should be exciting. I'm going to start with the Bombers and the Swans. We'll have the Giants and Frio as well over the weekend. We'll have uh, the Cats and Saints. And then I want to finish with uh, the West Coast Eagles taking on the Carbon Blues in Perth. Uh, the Blues are certainly the Blues at the moment. So we'll get into that as well. Uh, as always, never bet more than you can afford to lose and help us out there if you need as well. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website. All right, let's get into it. We'll start with a Friday night game. It's going to be the Sydney Swans coming down to Marvel Stadium to take on the Essendon Bombers, whose season is sadly over after last weekend and uh, after the siren goal by Mac Andrew, which was awesome for everyone else like myself, but not for some good friends of mine who are diehard Bombers fans. Season's done. But I actually sneaky think that this is a good spot for the Bombers. The Swans... They've been on a massive losing streak. I know what you're thinking. Well, they won last weekend. Well, they just won. They had to come back from like 30 points down to win by two or three points in the end. So I actually like this spot for the Bombers to get up. The uh, over the line opened at uh, uh, Sydney minus 12 and a half points. That's all the way down to uh, eight and a half now. So money is coming in on the Bombers spread. People like that. I like that. Over under is 174 and a half, and what the hell are we going to bet? Well, let's start with the Bombers. They've got the Swans to go. They play Brisbane next weekend to finish off the season. That is brutal. Uh, let's start with disposals. I want to go with Sam Durham to kick us off. He has been playing very, very well. Good thing with the Essendon Bombers is they've got a lot of really great options. They sort of average between 9, 10, 11 players who can get over 20-plus touches every single weekend. So really, really helpful to see. Uh, Sam Durham had 23 touches last week against the Suns, 25 the week before that, 21, and then 27 before that. And more often than not, he has been very, very good. So model particularly likes him for 20 plus touches. He's going over at four and a half touches at the moment. So really, really good value. You can get him for like a dollar 30 as well. Happy to see that. Other one we really like is Zach Merritt as well. He has been still playing really, really well. And I think, believe we can get him, yeah, for 25 plus touches. And that's going to be around $1.20 or $1.30. I'm looking on points bet at the moment. Um, Zach Merritt, $1.30 for 25 plus touches. Really, really good spot as well. You could also go with Mason Redmond for 20 plus touches as well. Model really likes that. I have jumped on that. I've jumped on Sam Durham and Mason Redmond for a dollar thirty for twenty plus touches, and they've both been super consistent playing there in the midfield. Happy with that. I think uh, Dyson Heppel still will probably not be playing as well because I think the thing with the Bombers, the theory is, as long as there's an even one percent chance that they can make finals, they're going to field their best team. And right now, Dyson Heppel, even though he has announced his retirement uh, midweek, he um, might not make the team as well. So. That's the way we're looking. We're looking. Uh, you can even look at Jai Colwell if you're feeling super frisky. Um, not much as much value on Nick Martin as well. So Sam Durham, we really like. We really like Mason Redmond. And if you want to bet up a bit, Zach Merritt's still been playing 
very well there. If we take a look now at anytime goal scorers, Model still really likes Jade Gresham in this spot for any time goal scorer. For one goal, he had no goals last week. That's good for us because we're, in theory, the positive regression should kick in and he should score this week. Uh, he had three goals the week before that, zero goals the week before that. Again, good. And then two goals the week before that. So to $1.55 for any time goal scorer, that's the way we sort of want to look with this. We think that that's pretty, pretty good value considering as well he's at 18 goals from 38 shots a goal on the season. And he seems to be most likely. The other one model really likes is Kyle Langford for two goals. You could go with like Jake Stringer or Kyle Langford. They're sort of in similar spots, but it, uh, it's gone down to a dollar eighty. It was a dollar ninety yesterday. Kyle Langford for two goals. More often than not, he's getting that. Got zero goals last week. Again, this is a really good spot. And if you're a absolute psycho like me and you think the Bombers are going to win this game, which I do, then that's a really really good way to look as well. We'll cross now to the Sydney Swans, and we have jumped on him early, and he's still been good for us. It's Matt Roberts. What a player. He sort of started the season as a really, really young guy. He did get um, benched. He did get put back into the reserves for a couple of weeks through the season. But since he's come back, he's hit the ground running, and he's been fantastic in the place of some of these injuries that they've experienced. He had 25 touches last week, 30 20 the week before that, 36 the week before that, and then 23. So he has been absolute money. And you've been able to get him at 15 plus touches. That's gone now. But you can still get him at 20 plus touches, which we think is excellent value. And you're also coming up against like Isaac Heaney and Chad Warner, where it's not as much value. $1.35 for 20 plus touches. We really, really like that. If you wanted to go up to, if you're feeling super frisky and you wanted to bet him up to 25 plus touches, that's $2.40. And he's done that two of the last five weeks as well. So that is on the cards as well. Other one we could look at as well, Nick Blakey has sort of come into form. He had 24 touches last week. He had 19 the week before that and then 25 the week before that. And he has been on and off a pretty good bet for the 20 plus touch mark, which we like. And then it sort of starts to reduce a bit from there. Isaac Heaney, you have to bet up to 25 touches. And there's been a few instances where that hasn't happened. He went off in the game last week against Collingwood as well. And that's how he got such a high. He got 32 disposals in the end. That's how he got, he got like 12 in the fourth quarter. So I'm kind of cooling on Isaac Heaney at the moment. I think he'll really come alive come finals time. But for now, I don't really want to look that way. If we're going to look for any time goal scorers for the Swans, Chad Warner and Isaac Heaney is still the way to look. And then it also, if you like it, see, it used to be a long shot. It's not really a long shot anymore, but it is Errol Goulden. He has been pretty frisky um, from the 50 line to kick a goal. Chad Warner, 31 goals from 63 shots at goal. Model really likes him in that spot as well. And you can get fairly good value, I want to say. He's at $1.23 for any time goal scorer. Had two goals last week. Had a couple of weeks where it was a bit dry, but then he has, he's more often than not, has been okay. So I think that that is okay value there. The other one, Isaac Heaney, same, same sort of, uh, same price, dollar 23 as well for any time goal scorer. He had a goal last week and a goal the week before that, but he has cooled in weeks before that as well. So tricky way to look. I don't have anyone for two plus goals. There's a couple of options. You can go with Will Haywood or Joel Marty, but at two goals, they're not really showing up in the model. And at one goal, they're not really worth the value. So that's the way I'd look. Chad Warner, Isaac Heaney on that. Matt Roberts for disposals, and then for the Bombers, Kyle Langford for two goals, Jake Gresham for one, and uh, the slew of <laughs> midfielders for the Bombers that I've mentioned before. We'll cross now to the Saturday day game. It's going to be between the GWS Giants and the Frio Dockers. This should be a really interesting game, I want to believe. Giants are favored 12 and a half points. Frio has dropped off a little bit, but this is absolutely must win for Frio. So that should be interesting to see how that goes. Over under sitting at 162 and a half, so a bit lower than what we usually see on the season as well. Once you start to get to get down to that 160 range, that's when it's like, okay, is the weather going to be an impact? Is it going to be scoring? Is the weather going to be an impact? Let's see. Should be an absolute beautiful day in New South Wales as well. Sunny and 18 degrees, so conditions will be absolutely perfect. Good spot for the Giants. Then we'll start with the Giants as well at home. They seem to be locked into the finals at this point. Of course, they can still fall out if they lose this game, but uh, they've been they've been in form at the moment, them and the Lions, so don't expect that at all. Let's go uh, disposals for the Giants. 
I'm going to start with Finn Callahan. He has been our guy all season long. We even uh, rode him through that rough patch through the mid-season where he wasn't performing as well, but he is back and he's back with a vengeance. 24 disposals last week, 17 the week before that. Okay, that's a bummer, but then 36 and 21. And then basically every week he's getting 20 plus touches. So Model absolutely loves him at the moment. He's going five disposals over the 20 plus touches mark that he's averaging at the moment. So at $1.25 for 20 plus touches, really love that. If you want to bet him up to 25, it's $1.95. That's where it starts to get a little bit risky. He's only done that once in that 36 disposal game over the last five weeks. So a little bit more inherent risk there. He's been playing really well on the midfield and through the middle as well. So we're keen on that. And then the other guy that's flying a little bit more under the radar is Lockie Ash has been absolutely going off the last couple of weeks. And we really like him. 22 disposals last week, 23 the week before that, 22, 23. So he's been very, very consistent and he has really come into form as the season's gone on. He's playing in the uh, half back line as well. So he's in a good spot. And these games against Frio, Frio, for whatever reason, churns out a lot of high disposal games, low scoring. That's why you get the lower over under, but you get the higher disposals mark and less value there as well. Other one we're looking at, Lockie Whitfield. This is going to be for 25 plus touches. He's a good shot as well. He's absolutely come alive. 25 disposals last week, but then 37, 35, and 40 the weeks before that. That is absolutely insane. You might even have to actually bet him up to 30 plus touches. Yeah, this is for 30 disposals. If you're feeling really keen, and it'll get you a dollar 45 for 30 disposals. Okay, we're not going to do that. That's that's just insane. Other one model really likes weirdly is Connor Iden. He's come in the last couple of weeks as well. And Harry Himmelberg, James Peatling. There's a few really good options here for 20 plus touches. So I'm liking what the Giants are doing at the moment. Anytime goal scorers, we'll flip now over to those guys. And we want to start with Brent Daniels at $1.50 for anytime goal scorer. He had a goal last week and the week before that, and then two goals the previous two games. And that was after a zero goal game. So we're really into Brent Daniels in the moment. Anytime we've bet him as well, he's come through for us. So I'm going to be on him again this weekend if that helps. 20 goals on the season from 42 shots at goals, so just under 50% conversion rate. But I think that this is a good spot despite the uh, lower over under. If you want to bet Toby Green for two goals, you'll get that at $1.65. He had one goal last week, so it could be good because then he had three the week before that, three the week before that, and then two, and then four. So two goals for Toby Green. Do like that as well. Jesse Hogan, oh my God, he's been going up. Three goals, five goals, four, four, four. That's insane. No wonder he's leading the Coleman race. Uh, you can get him for $1.65. Although I don't think the model likes him too much. So that's kind of weird. That would be because he's converting on his uh, kicking accuracy so well. So he's had, uh, yeah, 61 goals from 91 shots a goal. So that's an insane conversion rate. So no one does. So that's kind of the way the model works is if you're really, really accurate in front of goals, chances are you're probably going to miss on one of your next attempts. It's not good math, but it, it does happen. Uh, and that's how we go about picking picking what we like. Let's go with the Freo Dockers now. And I think that they're in a good spot as well to make a few bets. Them, St. Kilda and Essendon are the best teams to bet on for disposals because they really, really rack them up. I'm going to start with Andrew Brayshaw to kick us off. And he's going for 25 plus touches. At $1.25, you can get him. Um, if you want to go all the way up to 30, you could bet Caleb Sarong as well. Although Monolite is actually really cooled on him as well. Not too many options here. Someone who's come on in the last couple of weeks is Brandon Walker, who's not a name I'm particularly familiar with, but at 15 plus touches, if you like to do low risk, high reward, Brandon Walker, 18 disposals, 19, 16, and 22 as well. So he's coming back in the last couple of weeks, and that's $1.30. That's a nice, easy one that you could ease in, in, into, but he is showing up in the model. So we've got to go with that. Um, just looking, the other ones that likes here is Jager or Mira, I'm not so into that. And then it starts to sort of fall off a little bit after that. So those are the options I'd go with there. Anytime goal scorers for Frio, well, the one that stood out for us most weeks more often than not has been Bailey Banfield we've been on. I might call on him a little bit because there's some other players who are starting to creep through the model. One is Luke Jackson, $1.25 for anytime goal scorer. He had a goal last week and two goals the week before that. So don't mind that. More often than not, he is a good thing for at least one goal. Bailey Banfield has not kicked a goal in, well, he's, he's missed the last four weeks, I'll say. He's $1.55 to kick a goal. This is kind of an interesting spot where I actually almost wouldn't mind betting on that. 
likelihood that he should kick a goal. He is seeing a bit less playing time, though. His time uh, on ground has gone down the last couple of weeks, though. So maybe it would be a bit more risky than, than someone like Luke Jackson, who could be good. And I guess if we're going to go for a long shot, Hayden Young is a dollar fifty. $1.85 to kick a goal as well. He had a goal last week and two the uh, week before that. Well, that was kind of a weird game for him to get those goals. I mean, other teams have been able to score on the Cats as well. So it makes a bit of sense why Hayden Young was up there. He's a long shot. He started to have a few more shots of goal as well since he's been moved into the middle from half back line. He is 13 goals on the season from 27 shots at goal. So less than 50% conversion rate. But hey, if he's starting to have the shots uh, as he moves into the half forward and the midfield line, then Sure, why not? Going to hit now on the Saturday afternoon game, the 4.30 game. It's going to be between the Collingwood Magpies and the Brisbane Lions. I think this is going to be a fantastic game. This one's going to be at the MCG. Seem to recall the Lions not having the best record at the MCG. Other thing is, in Melbourne, it's going to be pretty cold. It's going to be like 14 degrees. It's also going to be raining for a lot of the day as well. So conditions are unfavorable. Lions are eight and a half point favorites and the over under is 167 and a half, which is pretty much exactly where it usually is. Disposals for the pies. Model loves Josh Dacos for 20 plus touches. That's still at a pretty decent value, all things considered. Uh, $1.20, so you could tack it on. The other thing is you can't really bet it up to 25 plus touches because then it becomes a dollar eighty, and he has had that two of the last five weeks. I'm not really into that as much. I'd rather the dollar twenty for twenty plus touches, which he seems to be absolute money for every single week. Twenty six disposals last week, twenty of the week before that, but then 32, 22. He has been very very consistent all year long, so I'm okay with that. He really only didn't hit that in round seven and round one. Every other week he's been good. Okay, into that. The other one we jumped on last week that hit that we're really into is this kid, Jack Vitell. We were watching him last week against the Swans and he did come through with 15 plus touches in a pretty big way. It's only $1.27, but it has been pretty good. 25 disposals three weeks ago. Then he had 15, so that was a stretch, but we got there. And then 18 last week, so we got there again. If you wanted to bet him up to 20 plus touches, it gets a little bit more risky. He's $2.25. It basically doesn't happen all that, that often, but man, he's been so close. So there is that there. So model likes Jack Vitell in this spot. Scott Pendlebury as well has become another favorite, but for 20 plus touches, he's just missed out. He had 18 uh, last week, 27, 22 and 19 the week before that. So he sits around there. So I'm okay with Scott Pendlebury for 20 plus touches. And then that is about it. It doesn't seem like anyone is stepping up in Jordan Degoe's place as much as we'd probably like to see. Of course, there's Nick Dacos, but um, at his odds at 30 plus touches, Model does not actually really like him. He's only just getting around that mark the last few, the last month or so. So going to stay off him for a little bit, at least until I can't even say until final series comes because the pies are not playing finals. So. Anytime goal scorers. Well, we're going to sit with Bobby Hill to kick us off. $1.25 for a goal. He had two last week, one the week before that, and then two, and then two again. So Bobby Hill, usually good for a goal, and he loves the MCG as well, so this is a really good spot for him. Even Jamie Elliott, $1.20 for an anytime goal scorer, and he pretty much kicks a goal every single week as a lock, so you could lock that one in. Uh, if you want to jump back on Lockie Schultz, you could. He didn't have a goal last week, so this is a good spot for him to bounce back. $1.35 for any time goal scorer. And then if you want a long shot model, the favorite one is Nick Dacos at $1.55 for any time goal scorer. Having said that, that's not really good long shot odds considering he is probably going to be a bit of a long shot to score. He didn't have a goal last week. Yet. He's had, we'll take a look now at the Brisbane Lions and they're in a pretty good spot as well. They're uh, playing extremely well. And someone who started to come through since he's come back from injury is Will Ashcroft. He has hit the ground running. They've put him in the midfield and the sort of like half forward line. And that has been absolutely playing wonders for the, uh, for the Lions and also for betting, mainly for betting. 29 disposals last week, 18 the week before that, but then 21 and 20 for Will Ashcroft. And you can get him this week. Uh, so you've got the likes of Lockie Neal, Dane Zorko and Josh Dunkley, who are the sort of the 25 to 30 plus touch, touch people. There's also Humor Cluggage. Having said that, Humor Cluggage has not been as good in recent uh, weeks and he's only a dollar seventy seventeen for twenty plus touches. So Will Ashcroft at a dollar thirty, very much liking that. 
Second one we really like is Lockie Neal at $1.20 for 25 plus touches or Dane Zorko, $1.42 for 25 plus touches. He didn't have that last week. Actually, in fact, neither of them had that, that last week, but they have had them in recent weeks as well. So we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see how they match up against the Magpies. It's like the grand final rematch, but this is the second time they've played. So it's not really, didn't they open the season playing each other? I'm pretty sure or it was like week one, sorry, round one or something like that. Could be the case. Anyway, that's where I'm looking. Will Ashcock, lock him in, Lucky Neil. I'm gonna lock him in as well. If we take a look at any time goal scorers for the Lions, someone who's really come alive. And in fact, I'm sure he must be in the running for rising stars. Kai Lohman. He has been kicking goals more from the not through, um, I want to say like the middle part of the season to the, at the end is coming up here. He hasn't had a goal in a couple of weeks, nothing last week, all the week before that. And then only one goal. So he's had one goal in the last four weeks. So that is a bit of a risk, but there was a period of time through like, I'm going to say like round 15 to round 19 where he was scoring all the time. So at a dollar 40 for any time goal scorer model seems to really, really like him. He has had 22 goals from 50 shots at goal on the season. So poor conversion rate, less than 50%, not ideal. We usually want to get in the 50 to 60%, uh, but he's been getting the ball enough. He's been playing in the forward line. Um, he has, I guess, struggled since Will Ashcroft has come back from injury. 13 disposals, 14 disposals, and 14. So usually you want to have a bit more involvement. He has had... 100 score involvements on the season though and that usually bodes really well for for disposals which in theory leads to kicking goals as well okay that's a really long winded way of saying hey joe danaher two plus goals uh would be another really good bet as well you can get him at a dollar 65 joe danaher is usually going to kick like he's usually going to have like five or six shots of goal and maybe one will go through hopefully two He's had 45 goals from 102 shots of goal on the season. So that's a abysmal conversion rate and 143 score involvement. So that's actually interesting. 103 shots at goal from 142 score involvements. That's a really high conversion rate. So when he gets the ball, he's having a shot at goal and we like that. And then just quickly to finish, I want to shout out Cam Rayner as well. 25 goals from 46 shots at goal. You can get him for any time goal scorer as well. He's $1.27. That's a nice, easy one. Didn't have a goal last week. Had three the week before that, two, two, two. So that's usually a good bounce back week for him. This is a good spot for Cam Rayner, I think, to, for any time goal scorer as well. All right, we'll hit now on the Saturday night game. This one's going to be between the Saints and the Cats. And Cats are in a really, really good spot to win this, even though they're on the road. I think they play Marvel just fine. Uh, the over-under is 164 and a half, and Geelong is favoured by 10 and a half points. I think that's a bit... That sounds right. I mean, these two teams usually match up pretty well against each other, despite uh, the Saints' kind of semi-abysmal uh, season that they've had. Going to start with the Saints for disposals. Going to head... Start with Josh Battle, who had 28 disposals last week, had a great game, and 24 the week before that as well. So this is a good spot for him to bounce back. He hasn't always hit on the 20-plus uh, touches mark. He's $1.13 for 15-plus touches. Not the best odds, but if you want to get him for 20-plus, it's $1.65, and this could probably match up pretty well because he usually plays as a key defender uh, in the back line, and I think the ball's going to be sent in that way a lot. So... Another one the model really likes, Hunter Clark, playing in the midfield. He had 23 disposals last week. Took the week off the week before that, but then 20, 21, and 25. So he's been going over his 20-plus uh, touches line more often than not over the last couple of weeks, and he's $1.35. Yep, the books are all over him. <laughs> They're always playing faster than we are. That's really annoying, but that's all right. Um, other one who's showing up a lot is Rowan Marshall and Jack Sinclair as well. Also bode pretty well for disposals. Like I was saying earlier in the show, the Bombers, the Saints, and Frio, for whatever reason, these three teams always have a lot of 20-plus touch players, which we really like. You could even look at Nasai Wanganin Miller as well. He's only $1.15, though, for 20-plus touches. Bit of a bummer. You could bring him up to 25, though. Let's have a quick look at what he's going for 25. $1.60 for 25-plus touches. Had it two of the last five weeks, but those two that he did get was 31 disposals and 28. So that is not too bad a value. 
If we take a look at anytime goal scorers for the Saints, the one who started to creep up a lot lately is Rowan Marshall. He had three goals last week. He had two goals the week before that and then one the week before that. So that's a bit of a surprise. He's really come from nowhere to, to get that result. He's had 13 goals on the season from 30 shots a goal. I mean, could make a bit of sense. He's their ruckman, so he's, he's sort of all over the ground, but he's not a forward, so that's what, probably why you're going to get that conversion rate. We don't normally like to bet on a ruckman because they're really frustrating to bet on because unless you're like having a season like Tim English did last year, they usually don't come through for us. But Model likes uh, Rowan Marshall, and those are pretty good odds as well. Other one it really likes is Mitch Owens for any time goal scorer, $1.45. More often than not, he does. he's good for at least one goal a game. He has kicked goals in three of the last five games, had a goal last week. I've actually found him a bit riskier to bet on. I don't always love it. He has kicked 18 goals from 44 shots a goal. That's a terrible conversion rate. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to be looking at too many Saints players in this game. I'm mainly going to be on the Cats, and let's get to them now. We'll start with my Lord and Saviour, Tom Stewart, who for 20-plus touches is only $1.10. We're getting ripped off. They've uh, certainly caught him playing through the midfield a lot more lately. He only had 19 disposals last week in our win against Frio over in Perth. 28 the week before that. 32 the week before that. 26. So you're going to have to bet him up for 25 disposals. I'm not doing that. He could move be moved back to the back line at any moment. There was that game uh, a few weeks ago. was against the Swans or oh, it was against the Crows where he basically got moved to play goalkeeper and play fullback for the entire fourth quarter. And he still touched the ball a fair amount, but I don't really like betting on uh, key defenders for 25-plus disposals. It just doesn't come through enough for me. One that I do like is you can get Max Holmes. He's back to $1.20 for 20-plus touches, and he's had 20 disposals last week, 20 the week before that, and then it's all up from there. So his base is kind of really 20 disposals, and you're starting to get a little bit more value on that now. Mitch Duncan last week had nine disposals because I believe he ended up being the medical sub at some point. And then usually the weeks before that, he's had 22 disposals. After Max Holmes is a bit of a shit show for the Cats, i got to say. Um, there has been absolutely nobody consistent. If, you, if I'm considering that the Bombers, Frio, and the Saints are all consistent disposal getters that you need, well, the Cats are pretty much the opposite of that. They seem to chop and change everything every single week. The way I would look for the Cats, though, is when it comes to kicking goals. If you're going to look anyway for the Cats, it has to be with Jeremy Cameron. He did only have one goal last week. but six goals the week before that, two the week before that, and he has uh, three the other week as well. So uh, we like that. $1.55 to $1.60 value for two plus goals. This is a great spot. I feel like uh, under the dome of Marvel, this is a perfect spot for Jeremy Cameron in primetime lights against the Saints. Take him on. Uh, the other way you could look as well is Tyson Stengel for two goals. Doesn't always get it, but again, really love this spot, and it is $1.80. And if you're feeling super frisky, Shannon Neal for two-plus goals. He's $1.18 for one goal, but for two, you can get him $1.95, and that's crazy. Interesting value. I'm slightly intrigued at that as well. Let's finish up now. In Perth, it is the West Coast Eagles and the Carlton Blues. I've got to talk about them because this game is nearly a coin flip. West Coast Eagles are favorite, one and a half at home. The over under is 162 and a half. I don't know how I feel about that. I know that the Eagles could win this game, but it's one of those ones where I prefer like the Bombers have a line of like 10 and a half or eight and a half and whatever it is. Not a coin flip though. So I know, understand the Bomber, uh, the Blues have got a lot of injuries that they're carrying at the moment and they're looking very, very exposed. Eagles are coming off two wins. Blues are coming off three losses. Uh, I'm just not sure. I would probably not bet um, the head-to-head -head either way in this game. My question is the injuries for Carlton, are they worse than what they seem? Let's go through them. So Matt Carroll out with a groin injury, indefinite. Jordan Boyd, abductor, three to six weeks. Adam Chera, hamstring. Uh, David Cunningham, shoulder season. Matt Cottrell, season. Charlie Kerno, ankle, one to two weeks. Tom DeKonig, foot, three to four weeks. Sam Doherty, we know he's been out for the season. Uh, Lucky Fogarty, collarbone out for the season. Uh, Caleb Marchbank could be coming back. He might still be in concussion protocol, though. Jack Martin, hamstring, one to two weeks. Harry Mackay, quad, one to two weeks. Adam Saad, there it is, hamstring, one to two weeks. 
And then, of course, we know Jackson Run is done for the season as well. So, look, not going to lie, there is a lot of uh, injuries for the Blues, but there's, it's like they've still got the core elements, though. They've still got Patrick Cripps. They've still got Sam Walsh there. Ollie Hollins has been playing really, really well. Elijah Hollins has been playing really, really well. Can't get those two confused. Nick Newman still there as well as Zach Williams. So few things that I really like in this spot. And just talked about him. So we'll start with disposals for the Blues. We're going to look at Elijah Hollins uh, for a couple of reasons. So you could maybe get him at 15 plus touches, although you're probably not going to get the value that you want. It's only $1.18. But if you want to get him for 20 plus touches at $1.85, I kind of don't mind that. He had 14 last week. I think everyone who played for the Blues last week, though, was playing bad. 21 the week before that and 20 the week before that. So $1.85 stretch. Kind of don't mind that as well. George Hewitt. 21 touches last week, $1.25 for 20 plus touches. And Blake Akers, I think he could probably step up in a big way with all these injuries. And I think alongside Sam Walsh and Pat Cripps, those are the two ways that I'd want to look for this. If we're going to look at anytime goal scorers, you can get Oes for $1.15 for anytime goal scorer. And they've probably got him for two goals. I don't love that as much as I like Elijah Hollins for one goal at $1.50. He shows up with the best value in the model. The other one who shows up with really good value is Patrick Cripps which considering all the injuries to the forwards, I actually don't mind the Patrick Cripps take. $1.65 for any time goal scorer. Didn't score anything last week. Did have a goal the week before that. He really doesn't ever kick goals too often. But in this particular spot, I think that this is where it's sort of like the captain needs to come alive. He's got his brown low, um, the best and fairest on the line as well. So he needs to have a really, really good game because last week it was not it. He's had 16 goals from 23 shots a goal and 107 score involvement. So it is all lining up there for, for it to be a really interesting game for the Blues. The Eagles are not the best team in the world as well. They're very gettable. I know they're playing at home and usually they play pretty good at home, but I think it's doable for the Blues here. And we'll finish up with the West Coast Eagles. We're going to start with Elliot Yo for 20 plus touches is $1.25. He only had 17 last week. Uh, in Tasmania, but again, Eagles never played very well in Tasmania, even though they came back and won that game. Very cool. But 26 the week before that, 26 the week before that, he's been a stud when it comes to playing in Perth. So I love that. You can also get Tim Kelly for $1.20 if you want to put that in your multi as well. At 19 uh, disposals last week, so he should come in a nice bounce back spot this week. Jeremy McGovern against his brother. This will be an interesting matchup as well. And Liam Duggan's been cool the last couple of weeks, but he's back as well. So uh, Eagles actually have a pretty, have a few fairly good ways to look here. We'll finish up with anytime goal scorers for the Eagles. Really like these two, uh, two goal options in Oscar Allen. Not as much Jake Waterman, but I think this is a good spot for Oscar Allen to have a two, uh, goal performance game. Um, and if you had to pick between Jake Waterman and Oscar Allen, model does like Oscar Allen more. The, uh, one that the model likes the most though is Jamie Cripps. At $1.42 for any time goal scorer. He is usually good for one goal. He had three goals last week. Great to see. He's had 24 goals from 64 shots a goal. That is an abysmal record. But at $1.52 and he 42, sorry, he usually is good for a goal. Really, really like that. That's the way I'm going to play this one. Jamie Cripps, Oscar Allen, two goals. Elliot Yo, two plus touches. Really like that. Coin flip game. Let's see if the Eagles can bring it home. This would be awesome. And speaking of bringing it home, we're bringing it home. We're all done. We're going to look at those games for this weekend. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you're still watching on YouTube, please leave a comment. Really helps us out. Like this video, if nothing else, but also subscribe. That's also really cool to see. You can follow us on our social channels as well. We're going to be back over the weekend with NFL preseason week two. We've got a lot of really interesting bets. We should be good to watch. Sally's cooked up a couple as well, which I'm looking forward to. If you're going to the games, enjoy. Hope your team has a lot of success. Let's see how the Cats go against the Saints. See who we can bring it home. Uh, until then, goodbye for now. Don't let the game play you. Stay in control. Gamble responsibly. In Australia, phone 1-800-858-858 for free and confidential support. In Canada, learn about safer play at Know the Risks from the Responsible Gambling Council at knowtherisks.ca. In America, must be 21 or older and present in Arizona. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text Next Step to 53342. Colorado, gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Connecticut, if you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat. In Illinois, Maryland, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia, call 1-800- gambler in indiana gambling problem call 1-800-9 with it kansas gambling problem getting help is your best bet call 1-800-522-4700
1-800-522-4700 or visit ksgamblinghelp.com. Louisiana, if you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-877-770-STOP. In Massachusetts, call 800-327-5050 for 24-7 support. Play it smart from the start or call 1-800-GAM-1234. In Michigan, gambling problem, call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. In New York, for help with a gambling problem, call 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. Tennessee gambling problem, call Tennessee Red Line 1-800-889-9789. Wyoming gambling problem, call 1-800-522-4700. Prop Nation betting show is for entertainment purposes only and should in no way be considered financial advice.